So today I'm going to be telling you about some research that we've done with the CRC for water sensitive cities on the topic of accelerating water system transitions. How do we drive change deliberately through our strategic action? So this research has been a large scale research program over about five years with the CRC for water sensitive cities. It's taken an action research approach. It's brought together leading thinkers from around Australia in these seven different cities different scales, different stakeholders, different contexts, but all interested in this question of how do we drive change? We know that business as usual is not going to set cities and towns up to cope with the future. But what does that mean we need to do differently? So we've been developing a range of processes and tools to help stakeholders work through those questions. And essentially boils down to this question of how do we be strategic through this process of change, knowing that transformation is complex, it's long term, there's lots of different stakeholders involved, different things are going to be effective at different times. How do we make sense of that and guide change? So the methods that we've developed have been around benchmarking and understanding the current system, envisioning a future for the long term, 50 year kind of horizons, thinking strategically about what are those pathways that need to be followed, and then how do we translate those strategic pathways into meaningful operational action with governance arrangements and implementation pathways to guide that action. I'm going to focus on a case of Victoria in Bendigo, regional, um, regional Victoria, to give a little bit more detail into some of the insights that have come out of this research. So in this process, we brought together uh, about 25 community members, about 30 leading practitioners from the Water Authority, from local government, from the CMAs, community organisations, the, the Judge Alwarong, a whole mix of private and public and community stakeholders to explore these long-term future challenges. Bendigo has a rich history of mining, lots of water challenges mixed up with that, uh, vibrant community, rich environmental uh, sensitive area, and a, a really complex regional inland city. And when we talk to people about the future, the kinds of concerns and worries they have, I guess, are represented by the kinds of words here, climate change, a uh, huge impact, but also really recognising the, the vicious cycles these different kinds of impacts have. The challenges are enormous, but they have a vision for the future that's different. The vision that they produced was a thriving inland city, water innovation, supporting healthy people, green environments, resilient systems. And the key words you can see on the slides there, I guess, capture how they think about that for Bendigo in itself. It's all about being resilient, being adaptive, communities caring, empowering people to do things differently. So how do we get to that vision? How do we drive the change? The research we've done at the CRC has identified that there's certain enablers that are going to be critical. We need to have leadership. We need to have champions that are driving change, whether that's individual practitioner champions or organisations themselves championing change. We need to have platforms that bring people together to collaborate in new ways. We need to have new scientific knowledge and new practical knowledge of how do we implement different types of solutions. We need to be showing and demonstrating those projects through on-ground implementation. And we need the guidance to help mainstream these new types of solutions, whether that's technical design guidance or administrative guidance through your policy tools and your regulatory tools. And all of these enabling factors need to be underpinned by strong shared vision, by good commitment to collaboration and by a willingness and a commitment to innovating, to trying new things, being okay when they fail and being ready to embrace the learning that comes from innovation processes. What these particular enablers look like vary with the changes, with the phase of change that you're on. So early in a transition, the types of things you might be doing would be different than late in a transition. Early on, you wanna be incubating the innovation, forming new connections, getting that shared understanding. Later on, it's about stabilizing, locking in those changes and really putting in the tools for mainstreaming this new set of practices. We've taken those insights to provide a bit of a roadmap how are we going to navigate these pathways to change? And I won't go into the detail of this matrix here, but you can look at it in your own time and see the kind of pathways that we can map within each of these different kinds of enabling categories. For our Bendigo case study, the overarching strategies that they came up with and that we supported them to develop 
a broad vision that orients action towards this new water future, embedding that vision in policies, plans and strategies, developing strategies for water that are integrated and across organisational, getting a network of people together that can drive that action forward, regardless of their organisational mandate, having that collective agenda and being able and willing and deliberate about learning and scaling through the on-ground demonstrations. So if we take this enabling factor uh, mentality, I guess there's a few key messages. We're dealing with complex systems and wicked problems. They can't be commanded and controlled. Instead, we need to be thinking about steering change, enabling change, accelerating change. And the other key message I'll leave you with is a recognition that projects don't change systems. You can do a project that's delivered on time, on quality, quality and to budget, that's not going to change the system because it necessarily has to be simplified to meet those objectives. Instead, we need to be thinking, how can I design this project or this opportunity to facilitate the transformation processes that we need? Thanks.